Um, you get the point. There was jizz and yogurt, okay? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yuck. You know, coming from so Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want to finish that thought? No. <laughs> No, I I do not. I'm going <laughs> I'm going to do something that I have never done before. Moving on. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. We're done. Bye. Oh, cool. No, no. No. Normally, I would take that and run with it, but <laughs> everything that I say can and will be used against me. Yeah, just in everyday life, not in a court of law. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember, there is life after the radio show. There is, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. So, uh, let's just move on. Yes, um, to uh, Jesus Ween. <laughs> Which is not much better. <laughs> I know. I was just thinking that as soon as the word popped out of my mouth, I was like, oh god, people are going to go, ooh, Jesus Weenie? <laughs> Well, there, I said it for you. If you weren't thinking it before, then I'm sorry. No, I was thinking that. <laughs> I think everyone that listened is. Oh, oh God. So, maybe we should have done the Jesus Weenie story and then <laughs> the yogurt story. And then the birth story. You know, just keep it all in order. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. so, um, what is Jesus Ween? It's an unfortunately named Christian organization that opposes, quote, ungodly, end quote, Halloween, and it's, unquote, or, excuse me, yes, I right. unquoted it. Yeah. Um, yeah. End quote, evil characters, unquote. This October 31st, instead of Mars bars, group members plan on handing trick-or-treaters mini Bibles. You can't eat those! <laughs> Well, you could, but, you know. <laughs> I tried that once. I got a paper cut. That was awful. Owie. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I really didn't. I'm just, uh, that, that was a funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have to po- I have to be specific, because half of you people will think I'm serious. <laughs> Which is both frightening and kind of insulting. Huh? Anyway, Jesus Weenie founder, Pastor Paul Aid, began replacing sugar with scripture in 2002. All it took was putting a Bible into every bag as they opened each bag with a smile, declares the Jesus Weenie website, adding that it was much easier than expected to trick kids into thinking the Bible was a treat. Well, if you have to trick kids into thinking that, I don't think the religion's going to go very well. What do you think? (laughs) Uh, I'm thinking there's going to be more than just the one trick happening. (laughs) Tricks on you, bud. Anyway, the group now has over 2,000 followers on Facebook and says on Twitter it expects Jesus Wing followers to hand out hundreds of Bibles and become, quote, the most effective Christian outreach day ever, end quote. But what is it about... All Hallows Eve that Pastor Paul finds so scary. I think it's an activity that doesn't have anything to do with Christians, the Canadian pastor told Gawker. He's right. It has to do with candy and capitalism. (sighs) Oh, God. Um, This one is sort of on the same tangent as the, I think, the Christian group that tried to change our greeting. You know, the universal greeting of Hello. They wanted to change it to heaven o. <laughs> Deadly serious. I know. Uh huh. So you're sort of sitting there and you're going, okay, we're going to call it Jesus Ween, which is going to be lengthened to Jesus Weenie. <laughs> and this is to go with Zombie Jesus Day. And I don't know what you'd call Christmas, but. You know, presents. Um, <laughs> presents day. The oh, I didn't want that. Did you remember the batteries? <laughs> oh. Did you keep the receipt? Or if you are um, are in mine and Robin's little group, we call it Horus Miss Day. Why? Because the god Horus uh, was well. 
depending on the translation, um, Jesus was supposedly born on December 25th. Well, in um, Egyptian mythology, uh, Horus was born on December 21st. So um, Horus is basically the Christ, the equivalent, the Egyptian equivalent of the Christian Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, they actually suspect that um, the very famous portrait of Mary holding baby Jesus is actually I- Isis holding baby Horus. And mm-hmm. so we celebrate Horus Miss Day instead. That works for me. Sounds good. So happy Horus Miss Day. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I just can't see the Bible thing being a big hit, except for when the Bibles are flung back at their door. <laughs> you know, then they'll be a big hit, especially if it goes you know, through a window. Yeah, <laughs> or, you know, straight at someone's head. But, you know, honestly, they obviously don't realize that it's houses like these. I mean, you have to be kind of careful at Halloween, because if you hand out really, really bad candy or something, or apples or Bibles... um. People have been known to um, toilet paper and or throw eggs at your house. Well, what was it? I think it was three years ago, something like that, maybe a little bit more. Hobby and I went out on Halloween. We went out to dinner. We took the kid, which was, you know, not the bestest thing, but, you know, she behaved herself, so it was all good. We come home and there's like half a dozen eggs flung at the house. Wow. And we're sitting there we're going, hello, we're in Australia. This is not generally an Australian thing, this whole trick-or-treating thing. So, you know, I cleaned up the eggs as best I could, which was pretty pathetic because it was like two days before I actually spoke to someone that knew what the hell to do. So I'm like, ah, it smells. Um, Yeah, so after that, you know, every Halloween is the same. You know, hubby goes, no, that's an American custom, that trick-or-treating rubbish. We're not doing anything with that. If they turn up, they can just kiss my ass. I said, yeah, with eggs. And yeah. every year is like three hours before dark. And he goes, oh, we haven't got any candy. <gasps> oh, no. So he races down to the shop, grabs the nearest bag of, you know, wrapped lollies, whatever. Because, you know, we know enough about Halloween that you're not supposed to eat any candy that is not separately wrapped. And then nobody comes. And I get to eat the candy. So everybody wins. Yay. <laughs> Which is wonderful for me. Sucks for him, but yes. you know, because he has to go to work probably the next day, and it's like mm, this is good. <laughs> and that's basically how we do it. So you know, I think we've had one year where we actually did have candy, and we had the lady from across the road bring her three kids over, and I think they had a sheet over their heads. <laughs> it's like really, this is what you did, please. Oh, man, for Halloween, I go all out. Like, this is, like, it's kind of like Halloween town for me. Once Halloween is over, I start planning for the next year. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I, I love know. Halloween. Oh, my God. And, I mean, we don't get many trick-or-treaters here, but um, I am excited because now um, my daughter is old enough. Well, not old enough to say trick or treat but she's old enough to where uh, she can walk around on her own well Mm -hmm. not on her own there's someone with her I meant walking around without us having to carry her around all the time yeah and you know we can dress her up in you know in cute little costumes and take her trick or treating which means I get candy (laughs) (laughs) you're just gonna have to be really careful when you get to those certain neighborhoods because one of her favorite words is ice (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So you don't want to go to those houses. Those houses you want to avoid. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because but... they might give you something you didn't really ask for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and see, what's funny is, and I didn't know this, but um, <laughs> I asked my mom, and she basically confirmed it for me. I was talking to, um, I think it was Janie, actually. And we were discussing um, that whole thing of, you know, you're not supposed to eat any candy um, immediately. You're supposed to have someone check it to make sure there's no, like, razor blades or dirty needles or, you know, poison, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) And then she said, "Um, apparently that's a myth. I was like, 
What? Are you serious? That's just a ploy to so, get parents the equal opportunity. We get exactly. The so, <laughs> so the next day, it's like six o'clock in the morning, and I'm looking at my mom, and I'm like, "So, uh, you got something you want to tell me about Halloween?" And she's like, <laughs> "No, why?" I said, "Well, apparently that whole razor blade and the candy thing is a myth." She goes, "Yeah, but you never believed that." I said, "So it's true." <laughs> It was just a ploy to get the good candy. Yeah, my mom said, um, and this actually made me mad. <laughs> this really did. But my mom was like, yeah, you never believed that, so I just had to wait until you went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I love your mom. <laughs> I was like, you, you stole my candy. And she's like, you haven't been trick-or-treating since you were like five. I was like, I don't. Air. It's the principle of the thing.